my channel. If you are new here, then thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess. I am currently on a weight loss journey via a calorie deficit and bringing you guys all along with me. Um, I do also post photographs on my Instagram of my food, so if you do want to go and check me out there, I will leave a screenshot up here and also a link in the description where you can go and check that out if you want to. I think Billy's come to say hi. Hello! If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, go hit the subscribe button below, and if you want to be notified for when I do upload, then you can hit the bell as well. So without further ado, I'm just going to crack straight on to breakfast. I think I'm going to make a sausage, or like a breakfast wrap, um, we'll call it. It's basically a wrap just with breakfast in it, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be making. So this is what I'm going to be using. These sausages here I've just popped in a Tupperware so that they didn't... Um, so that they didn't go off, but these are the ones that I'm using. I just kept the packet just for reference. Um, they are 76 calories per grilled sausage. Um, these are just from Aldi. It's the Butcher's Select 45% reduced fat ones. I really like these ones. Um, the texture of them is a lot nicer than like the skinny sausages. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be having two of them. I've then got two eggs, which I'm just going to be frying into an omelette. Um, I'll be using two rushes of bacon. Um, these are 63 calories per two medallions and then I've just got a village bakery wholemeal wrap these are 193 calories each again just from Aldi so I'm just gonna pop the sausages in the oven um, and then I'll be making my omelette and frying my bacon breakfast just before I wrap it up and um, so obviously you've got your wrap your omelette your sausages and your bacon and this in total comes to 535 calories um so yeah I literally just wrap it up like a regular wrap and eat it that way guys I have got some really exciting news something which has just cropped up today um which I've been wanting for a little while um and I got a phone call this morning and I've been to view and I have officially paid my first year's rent on an allotment <laughs> oh my god so how exciting am i crazy probably i don't know but like i said i've got the keys here so um there's quite a lot to do on it obviously i will show you everything um and show you kind of me doing it up it's gonna be me and emma are gonna be both sharing it um so yeah we're both really really excited um it's just me here at the minute um but yeah i'll show you around what's to do etc um and yeah hopefully this will be a really fun and exciting journey for all of us but yeah allotment <laughs> come in and I just thought I'd show you what we've got so I've got a lot of space over here which obviously needs clearing out um I've already got some spring onions in here um I think we've got some strawberries over there um but like I say there's quite a lot of weeding to do um and then we've got the greenhouse which you get to through the shed washroom in here we've got a little space here um, everything that's in here which the last people left is now mine so they've left us some little deck chairs <laughs> um, we've got a spade I think they must have had like a little fireplace here and um, they've got like a little chimney up the top um, obviously we've got that window there um, and then this is through into the greenhouse here so we've got a little bit of work to do in here I've um, got some cabinets, they've left, um, they must have had little dinner parties here because they've got little um, plates and napkins etc. Um, but yeah, so they've left some bits um, which can be handy for, for whatever. 
Um, let's see if I can try and show you the back. Shouldn't have done this with better legs. So we've got a little area here, which I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with. Um, that obviously needs fixing up. And then we've just got some rubbish there which we need to get rid of. Some tyres, compost bins, got another gate there. But yeah, so this... I think this is going to be um, the next few months for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I am looking forward to doing this. And we've got a bit around here as well which they've left some pots. So plenty of pots in there. Um, a little rainwater bucket, got some space around here, yeah, this is the project. Okay, I am back from the allotment now, I'm just going to have some lunch, so I've got that hunter's chicken which was left over from yesterday's evening meal, so I know I had a wrap for breakfast, right, but I'm going to have it in a wrap. I can't stop eating wraps, I love wraps, I just, anything. It's just made so much nicer in a wrap. I don't know what, what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you that. Um, and then I've just got some editing to do and then I'm gonna be heading back to the allotment this afternoon. I think I'm gonna meet Emma there um, so we can have a little game plan, as it were, um, for what we're gonna do with it, um, where we're gonna start. And then my mum and dad are gonna come and see it as well because um, they didn't know I was gonna get it. I didn't know I was gonna get it this morning, but um, here we are. So that is my afternoon, kind of what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly show you what I'm using for my lunch. So this is the Hunter's Chicken that I just popped in a um, Tupperware box last night. So it's this one, I kept the wrapper, it's the um, oven ready one, this is just from Aldi, it's 326 calories per chicken breast, um, so that is what I'm going to be having. And then the same wraps as I used this morning, 193 calories each, and then I'm just going to pop some salad in with it as well. I think I'm undecided as to whether I want to heat this or not, I maybe won't. No, I'm going to have it cold, um, just because I feel like if I put hot chicken in with salad it'll go funny, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So there is my lunch. This is a hunter's chicken wrap, quite literally. Um, so in total, there's 522 calories in this. Okay, so it's now about 10 to 5. Um, I have literally just been at the allotment um, pretty much all afternoon. My mum and dad have been to see it. Emma's been to see it. Um, yeah, we've just been having a little look at everything, kind of trying to make a little plan for what we're going to do. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I am, however, now going to head to my mum and dad's house because it's actually my mum's birthday. I know it was my dad's birthday like a minute ago. Um, but yeah, it's my mum's birthday now, so I'm going to go there. Um, we are having a, a rather sensible meal because obviously like last week like was constantly like party food. It was barbecues. It was, you know, um, not diet friendly f food. Um, however, my mum wants to make a chicken wrapped in parma ham. We are going to have some birthday cake, however, but I have left some calories over for that. And hopefully because we are making it and it's not just out the packet, um, I'll be able to count the calories in it, hopefully. So yeah, I'll just catch you when I get there.
So it is now about half past ten. I'm about to head up to bed. Um, so just to kind of reflect on before, obviously the last like couple of weeks or so have been fairly like on slash off plan when it comes to me kind of eating out. Eating has been my parents' birthdays, like both of them, um, etc. And I've been to picnics what and whatnot, but um. Yeah, so can we just take a moment and have a big round of applause for the fact that I've just calorie counted at my mum and dad's house and I've calorie counted cake. <laughs> um, and I'm still within my calories, that's the other part. So yeah, let's, um, let's applaud that. Thank you. Thank you, it means a lot. Anyway, so I'm just going to summarise the day. Okay, so I thought I might break down what I've actually had for my dinner. So that chicken wrapped in parma ham um, with the Philadelphia and the veg it came to 404 calories, which isn't too bad at all actually, because it wasn't like the um, like the lighter than light Philadelphia or whatever. It was like the the full like the proper one. Um, so I had 30 grams of that and two slices of parma ham. So it actually came to 365 calories because I got the parma ham wrong there. Um, so yeah, buzzing with that. So 365 uh, calories for dinner, the cake however, and yes I weighed it, weighed out the slice of cake, believe it or not. The rest of the meal, as in the cake that I weighed out and the glass of wine that I had, came to 474 calories. So obviously the majority of my calories was actually on cake and wine. But um, regardless, the day I've actually ended on 1,895. So I'm like well under my calories, which I'm happy, happy about. Um, but yeah, so that is my calories for the day. Steps wise, I am on 12,310, which is um, a little bit higher than what I usually do. So I'm happy with that. Plus, that's not me actually going out and getting a walk specifically for steps. That has literally just been, like, me being busy all day with the allotment, with, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't had to go out and specifically go and get them steps, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, happy with that. But, yeah, I feel like today's been a good day. And um, Billy's just chilling out there. Are you going to say hello? He's just had a zoomy, so he's very tired. Been a hard day for him. So yeah, so I'm just gonna end the video there. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below. And if you do wanna be notified for when I do upload next, then you can hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.